In this tutorial, we will work on assignment 5, question 8. In this circuit, the current I of t for t after 0, that is after this switch is open, is known. It is an exponential with amplitude 9, that is writing on top a constant value 8. The question is find R1, R2 and L. How are we going to do that? From that expression, we know that the current value at t equals 0. When this is 0, the exponential is 1. So the current value is 8 plus 9, that is 17 amps. 17 amps is the current in this circuit, the current in the inductor, at t equals 0, that is IL naught, 17 amps. So what? Hmm, so what? That current happens to be the current in the inductor at 0 minus. Oh, that's interesting. So that means that if we take a snapshot of the circuit at 0 minus, when the circuit is in this steady state, the current should be 17 amps. That's right. Because in that snapshot, it's in this steady state, the inductor can be represented as a wire. The switch is still closed by passing R1. The circuit at a snapshot at t equals 0 minus looks like this. And we know what is this current. This current is 17 amps. Hmm. 21 volts divided by R2 is 17. That is correct. That means that R2 has to be... 21 volts divided by 17 amps. 1, 2, 3, 5 ohms. And that is the answer to question B of this exercise. And then what? Well, and then what? Observe that we also know in this current what is the final value. Indeed. Let's see. In that current, um, if we wait long enough, we turn t to infinity, this exponential will tend to zero, and the final value of the current, I L final, will be just 8 amps. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the circuit at t equal infinity. After the switch is open, and we have waited a long time. Again, the circuit is in this steady state, and again, the inductor can be represented as a Y. This is the way the circuit looks at T infinity. Mm, when the value of the current in the inductor is ILF, this is 8 amps. So that current is 21 volts divided by R1 in series with R2. But we already know what is R2 is this value. So directly from there, we can determine what is the value of the resistor R1. 21 divided R1 in series with R2 is 8 amps. That signifies that R1 is simply the total resistance 21 divided by 8 minus R2, which is 1.235 ohm. That is 1.390 ohms. And we have two of the questions in this exercise. What about L? How are we going to find L? Well, observe, we happen to know what is the time constant of this current and of the circuit for t after 0. What is that? The time constant is 1 over 7 over second. And that time's constant is, we know, L divided by R7. And let's see. For t after 0, the R7 seen by the inductor is R1 plus R2, the sum of those two values. That is 2, 6, 2, 5 ohms. And we know the time constant is 7 inverted, 1 seventh of a second, and that is L 
divided by that R7, and we know that immediately we can solve for L. L is R7 and 2.625 divided by 7. That inductance is 0 0.375 Henry's, and that completes the solution of this exercise. This has been your first tutorial on first-order circuits. Thank you very much.